It's a great example of like, yeah, some questions have a built-in shortcut and some people are going to sense that shortcut right away and get the question right. But there's a lot of times in the SAT where the shortcut isn't that short. And, and so I don't, I don't, I don't really care that there's a shortcut. Uh, they want, they give us this equation. They want the value of X plus six. They ask about it in a weird way, but if you want to solve for X and you could do some algebra, we can just type it into Desmos. Uh, let's see if this works here. So uh, X, uh, my keyboard's not working. That was what I wanted. Oh, there it is. There it is. So X plus six and then divided by three is equal to X plus six and divided by 13. And uh, what happens? What do we get? We get X is negative six. So some people are going to pick A because of that. They're going to fall right into the trap of just not reading that we want X plus six. So if X equals negative six, negative six plus six is zero. So zero is between negative two and two. And that's why there's a shortcut here is, uh, and, and just be clear about the Desmos, right? This is forming a, a straight vertical line because we're just giving it a one variable equation. It's solving that equation for us. The vertical line is telling us the value of X. So there you go. Now, the, the reason there's a little bit of a shortcut is some of you are going to look at this and realize the only way for two fractions to have the same value, but different denominators, would they need to have the same, hmm, well, hmm. In order to have, see, this is how, this is why this is not much of a shortcut. Because if you don't understand this, then it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem. These are two fractions of the same. They have the same denominator. Uh, they have the, oh my god. They have the same numerator. The top of the fraction is the same. The bottom is different. The only way that's possible is if the top is zero. And since they're asking about x plus six, and x plus six also happens to be the top. That has to be the case, right? Because this is zero over three, which is zero, is equal to zero over thirteen. The only way this, these three th thirds and thirteens can be the same is when they're zeros, right? That, that's the rule. And so some people, despite my inability to talk about it, will understand that right away, realize that X plus six is zero, and then realize, okay, well, B is the only one that puts zero in a range here. But, oh God, it just, I don't know. You can just tell, like, it's hard to articulate that thought. And so if I can't speak it well, do you really have confidence that that shortcut is true as you're kind of working it through, I don't know. I think throwing it to Desmos and just getting the value of X and just going from there is at least maybe a little bit longer, not much longer, but at least it's sure, at least you're accurate. You know, just don't, don't do the classic trap of um, solving for X and then just being done, right? We know that in all sorts of cases, the SAT is going to ask for something else. So always check for what they're actually asking for. But uh I don't know. This is we're going to see this a bunch in this set of questions here about um, solving for X twists. Is I think there are lots of shortcuts the SAT offers us, but I think very very rarely are those shortcuts actually that short. And I'd rather you just do the work and prove the answer and be be certain.